Hey there, I'm back for another video about uh, Ultimate FPS. Um, using this video is covering how to create a shotgun. Um, so I've got a, I'm using Unity 4.3.3. I've downloaded the latest version of Ultimate FPS. Uh, this one's 1.4.6b. Also in the asset store is a free shotgun that's labeled as semi-automatic rifle but in fact it's a shotgun so um, a very similar video as the how to make a ranged weapon uh, I've downloaded the shotgun I changed I turned off animations applied I turned off uh, animation the rig none I change the scale to 0 0.015. It it fits well with um, Ultimate FPS. So I drag that in the scene. And I went up to my um, under UFPS base content uh, prefabs weapons. I duplicated the revolver just like I did in the last video. So I duplicated it. You line up your shotgun um, over top of where how you want it. Actually kind of made it um, where the thumbs over top of it a little bit. Uh, you make that a child of your shotgun prefab. You're going to want to rename this. So you can see here, I've got one named shotgun. Um, you go click your mesh render, change this to one. Pistol goes away. Apply your changes. Delete it. Um, that's what mine looks like. So it's got the shotgun same thing was what you just made. You go on to um, I duplicated the player, the advanced player I named it advanced player tutorial right here so that way I don't um, edit, I don't mess up the one that comes with it. Um, I duplicated the revolver this time. So last time I duplicated the shotgun but I like the way the revolver kicks back so I duplicated this, I named it 6 shotgun. Uh, for the rendering, you, you click this VP FP weapon, you click the rendering, single click it, it's going to say revolver, you're going to find your shotgun and drag it in here. Uh, this time I did not change any of these position spring settings. Um, it looks it looks nice how it is. I did not change any of these states, so you see they all say weapon revolver or the, the default that came with the revolver. So under this FP weapon shooter state, for the projectile, um, the revolver is going to say revolver, so you just duplicate this, it's under, if you single click it, it'll show you where it's at. So you duplicate it, um, I named it shotgun bullet, it's really shotgun shell. I changed these, okay. so for the shotgun bullet, I changed the range to 50, the force for 100, it might be too much and the damage 0 0.25 because we're going to have a lot of um, a lot of bullets coming out so you're going to want to drag that shotgun bullet onto this VPFP weapon shooter under the prefab uh, that's a scale alone, I changed this count to 12 so that's going to say I have 12 bullets coming out I changed the spread to 20 tweak these uh, however you like 
the next thing I did is I changed this shell. Uh, the revolver is going to have none, so click on the pistol. Click on the pistol shell. It's going to show you where it is. Duplicate it. And I named it um, shotgun shell. And then what I did is I found the um, this default uh, the material that comes with the um, pistol shell. I duplicated it and I called it uh, shotgun. I just put the word shotgun at the end. So that's the shell. Um, so then on the mesh on the shotgun shell which is under the um, content prefabs effects so you get your shotgun shell that you created under the mesh render I changed the shell element I just dragged in the shotgun and then you can change your color I just made it red and added some, a specular color just to give it a little, say if you change it around, it kind of. I just, I, I don't know, that's what I wanted. Um, so then we go back to our advanced player, look under the shooter script, we look under this shell. So we've got our shotgun shell that we dragged in here, which is under the content. Prefabs, effects, shotgun shell, drag it under. I changed the scale here to 0 0.125. Um, I wanted it a little larger than the um, the pistol. And that is all I changed here. That's a lot. And so I hit apply. And let's see what it looks like. So if you hit play. Switch to my shotgun. I made this wall using um, Pro Builder just to have something to uh, display the shells. So you can see the see there's the shell. It's um and then you can zoom in. See how I didn't change the states? It it looks good enough. I like the way it bobs around and stuff. Nice pattern. Um, so you can see those shells and then if I switch to the pistol see the shells are a lot smaller. Um, uh, revolver. So part of the force you see how the crate flies off and then if I switch to the shotgun, well first when I hit it, see the spread is all around. But then if you zoom in, see, there we go, got a shotgun. Kind of fun playing with a shotgun. Alrighty, that's it for my video. I um, hope you all enjoyed. If you need any more settings or anything like that, just look on the uh, UFPS manual. They've got a ton of information uh, that you can kind of see from this video and just really just tweak the settings and play with it from there. Alright, take it easy.